You've nominated fixing dysfunction in government. That's a quote as your number one policy. Yet you are rewarding the government by preferencing the Liberal Party ahead of Labor. If you finish third, your preferences will help elect Dave Sharma. And this is where the claims that you're pretending to be a Liberal come in. Can you see how voters might be confused by this? The whole preferencing system is incredibly complex. I knew that when there were 16 candidates, it would be important for people who wanted me to be elected to have a how to vote guide. And so I produced the how to vote guide, which shows people who want me to be elected how that might best happen. But what we are saying to people is that you have the, the freedom to vote any way you want with any preferences you want. But if you want me to be elected, then you put me as number one and your other preferences come after it's that. It's caused some disaffection, though, towards you because of the, the decision to put the Libs ahead of Labor. Was that a political miscalculation that might decrease your preference flow from other independents and Labor? I mean, the Greens have already said that they're going to preference Labor ahead of you. Should you have opted for an open preference ticket? I think it's better to be honest and transparent. And I wanted... But what's honest about that, that you prefer the Libs over Labor? The honesty is that uh, I wanted a how to vote car guide that was most likely to have me elected if people wanted a strong local independent. <laughs> <laughs>